Hello friends, welcome to another 3 minute game pass. I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you this game pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. It's time to set sail with Rubberman Luffy on his quest to find the One Piece. And with that, we've exhausted my knowledge of the One Piece story. But is this Musha game any good? One Piece Pirate Warriors is a PC and Xbox cross release, but it doesn't cross save or have any cross achievements or anything like that. It is 1x enhanced for 4k, and the game is about 15 to 16 hours for the story, more if you're a completionist. So exactly is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, where it's a Musha or Warriors game set in the One Piece anime universe, and I wasn't lying in the intro when I said I know very little about this series. Being completely transparent, I read the first manga volume like 10 years ago, and I have a friend who really likes this show, but that's about it. What I do know, however, are Musha games, having played a wide assortment of them over the past few years. Those unfamiliar should know their simple loop. It's essentially territory control, where you murder thousands of fodder enemies to charge up your abilities to either kill even more fodder enemies, or or use your abilities in a one-on-one -on -one style fight with a stronger baddie. Pirates Warriors 4, like most Musha games, mixes things up slightly in its core combat. You only control one character each mission, and larger enemies now have an armor system. Basically, if you hit them when they have armor, they take less damage, but once you break the armor, you have a chance to stun, and stunned enemies take amplified damage as well as cannot act. Enemies also have a burst ability, which makes it so that they cannot take damage until you break their armor itself. Usually this happens near the end of the fight, and it's a way to kind of tempo you and large your enemies. There are tons of characters from the show, and each can have up to four super abilities equipped at any time, as well as an assortment of passives. These vary depending on each character. New stuff is upgraded in a brand new skill tree system, where you have one skill tree that upgrades all of your characters simultaneously, while each individual character has two trees of their own. This is kind of neat, because then you have to make a decision on whether to upgrade everybody or one character you like in particular. There's a story mode, which follows several of the show's arcs, as well as a random assortment of missions, which are basically randomly generated scenarios of varying difficult, but the general mission structure usually stays the same. The game directs you to either capture areas, kill specific enemies, or defend certain areas, which just involves beating the crap out of everything. So yeah, it's a standard Musha Warriors game. Big surprise there. So what do I like about One Piece Pirate Warriors 4? Well, it's a really great Musha game, combat-wise, with a focus on over-the-top abilities and one-on-one -on -one fighting. I really enjoyed the combat in this game. Additionally, there's an absolutely insane amount of content if you enjoy these games, as well as enjoy One Piece, from tons of mission collections to stories to upgrades, all sorts of crazy stuff. There's so many characters in this game. And lastly, the skill tree idea is really cool. Having one for everybody and then individual ones for each character works really well, and especially considering the number of characters. When it comes to the bat, it doesn't have any of the strategic elements in terms of ordering allies, etc. that appear in other Musha games and cares less about territory control than other Musha games, which does remove some of the strategic elements from it. I also found the story completely incomprehensible as someone who doesn't follow the manga or show. It's not particularly paced well or expressed well through storytelling, they expect you to be familiar with the source material, and if you're not, you're just going to be lost. And lastly, this is, at its core, still a Musha game. If you don't enjoy the kind of mindless combat territory control that these games have, you won't enjoy this one. So there's no great games here on a must-play, maybe consider Don't Bother 3-point scale. I would say maybe consider One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Specialized Musha games like this are absolutely made for fans of the franchises. The games that got me into Mushas were Hyrule Warriors and Dragon Quest Warriors because I loved those two gaming franchises. And while I'm not a One Piece fan, I imagine if you are, you could really enjoy this game even if you've never played a Musha game before. As someone unfamiliar, however, I still had a great time with this game and the semi-mindless Musha-style gameplay. It's a solid Warriors game, and if you're a fan of One Piece, that's just icing on the cake. But if you aren't familiar with either, I don't think this is going to convince you. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and go out there and enjoy One Piece Pirate Warriors 4.